so there are a lot of great ideas that were being thro thrown about um, over the last moderated caucus. And um, uh, I guess a lot of people were wondering, how do you handle the situation without North Korea being here to address certain issues? Um, so we did find North Korea, and North Korea, a representative from North Korea, is here to give a speech on the situation at hand. So I now hand the floor over to North Korea. Well, delegates, thank you for having me over. The uh, situation is pretty tense on the, on the uh, peninsula. The imperialist forces set by the capitalist nations have been aggressive against us for years. And it's frankly insulting to other nations who choose a different economic path and cultural path. It might not be something other nations might agree with, but it's our path. It's our right. And if we want to test uh, you know, launch capabilities like everyone else has, that is our right. Now, yes, it is unfortunate that the sabotage missile, from our idea of it, exploded over South Korea and caused problems. However, to retaliate unilaterally with your imperialist puppet master, the United States, to attack my nation and its vessel with innocent civilians on it is despicable, deplorable, and is frankly insulting to the democratic process, uh, the, uh, the process of diplomacy. We have the organs and bodies to be used to create a new way of diplomacy, instead of just sinking a vessel out of nowhere. Insulting. And as a nation that is equal to any other nation in this room and in the world, I should be treated with respect as other nations are. Just because my country isn't as powerful or has the diplomatic abilities of some of the other nations with their deep capitalist pockets while they pincer around and destroy the resources of the world, I don't have the same respect when I am working within my own country. We just want to be left alone. I'm ashamed to be involved in this process. I will open. Okay, so I have placards and um, I will call in your delegation. Uh, United States of America. Good question. Uh, Honorable delegate from North Korea, uh, the United States of America would like to ask you uh, if you really think that uh, what you're doing is the, the uh, is the, the good step for uh, for um, for being considered at the same level of the uh, the rest of the countries since uh, the rest of the country uh, agree with uh, maintaining uh, peace in the world but <coughs> actually North Korea don't Okay, excellent question. Um, and I'm going to answer that from the multi level. Um, see, you want peace on your terms as a capitalist nation. You want all your little puppets to dance for you and create a resolution that fits your needs. All right, we already know what happens when a superpower creates a peace treaty on their terms. And it failed magically. That was the Versailles Treaty. When a bunch of other nations dictated peace to another nation, it fell apart. Now, as North Korea, we have stated that we're we're going to sit on this one. We demobilized our military. We stood them down. We're not going anywhere. All right. It was another nation who fired at our ship. Now, as peace goes, we are always open to negotiations. Yet you treat us like children, which of course is what naturally comes to an imperialist nation, treating other nations they look down upon as little children. I will gladly sit down with anyone and talk to them, kind of a lot of course, uh, to discuss a, a more of an idea of my feelings. And I want to discuss your feelings as well. That's all I want. Any other questions on the floor? Republic of Korea? It's a delegation of uh, North Korea where that um, this is not that, that uh, the episode with a missile that exploded over uh, South Korean territory is not the first violation of South Korean sovereignty and that uh, North Korea has, has gone, has incurred without permission into South Korean territory numerous times, including building tunnels for invasion in the 70s, uh, killing, uh, killing uh, North Korean uh, South Korean citizens, 
behind the border and uh, that this action was just a response to all those series of violations to the to the sovereignty of our nation? Uh, okay, uh, that's that's good question. Thank you. Um, I will field that. Um, remember those islands cut off to the south? I forgot what they were called, but those are ours. <laughs> All right. So you're kind of technically occupying our turf right now. All right. So that's one problem. Uh, two, you have uh, missile capabilities on, uh, from a foreign power on Korean soil. And we come from a common heritage, a common history, and you're allowing a foreign nation to deploy missiles? This isn't, you know, the annexation of 1910 of our nation. We're brothers. We should be working together and not listening to other nations. Now, yes, the tunnels, that was the 70s. Times were crazy, all right? That's what the 70s were all about. But you have to realize that if you just keep bringing up that past idea of the tunnels, uh, the covert op missions that went around the world. Yeah, that, that happened. But remember, those are our islands that you were occupying. Those are your troops from foreign nations you invited onto our soil as common Koreans. And also, uh, if, I, if I don't forget, um, uh, uh, how, many, how, many, how many missiles, nuclear missiles, do you have uh, uh, in South Korea that you uh, don't want to talk about? So remember, it goes both ways. And as a Korean, to another Korean, we have a common history and bond we can use to make peace together. I just want to make sure it's on equal footing and that every feeling I have as a sovereign nation with my people and your sovereign people, we can sit down and talk about this together. Uh, no follow-ups. I'm going to allow two more questions. Luxembourg. Um, I, Luxembourg feels that you are really toying with us because time and time again we have come to treaties and you suddenly dropped out and I feel like I said that you were toying with us. Also, you are condemning these big nations because they are in a way bullying you. But isn't that exactly what you're doing with South Korea? Uh, for your last question, no. Uh, we are simply being bullied. And if the bully gets a black eye and cries about it, is he the victim? Absolutely not. Who's to, who's to judge Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, no, no follow-up. I like where you're going with that, though. Um, but that's not point. Uh, your other part... Uh, about the treaties. Yes, yes, the treaties. Now, let's think about this. Let's just, you know, look around the room and see other countries that had treaties and that they broke. All right, that led to certain populations being removed, certain populations being eliminated altogether. Those are treaties that they broke. When those countries break a treaty, at least a genocide, and when I break a treaty, it's my country defending myself. You cannot claim the moral high ground. Never. Now, don't get me wrong, we all make mistakes. We made plenty of them. And I'm willing to admit that. But don't pretend you have the moral high ground. When in all honesty, every nation here has broken a treaty, has led to violence, you're just picking on me. <laughs> One last question. Russian Federation. North Korea, Russian Federation recognizes the right of the development of a nuclear program, such as any other countries did here, like the United States, though they will never admit it. And of course, Russian Federation recognized that yesterday's response to your accidental violation of the South Korean airspace, the reaction of South Korea was overcompensating what happened. We all recognize that. But we think, as you before, focus on your brotherhood with that country. We think we should really bring back the six-party talks as the war between North Korea and South Korea does not involve just two countries. It is a problem that really ends and really could be able to move the balance in the whole Asian area and could possibly turn into a global one. 
as well we should bring back the six party talks and though the United States <coughs> are not perfectly transparent about their nuclear policy, they should be involved in the six party talks too because their west coast is clearly in the range of your developing of your developing nuclear weapon system. Thank you. Uh, was there a question attached to that? I would like to know if you agree with us bringing back the six party talks. Alright, there we go. Alright, uh, two things you brought up. Uh, you mentioned uh, my missile capabilities reaching the west coast. When said country we are talking about has missile capabilities to wipe, over the, wipe the planet out six times over? Roughly? Uh, I'd just like to make that point clear. Uh, so let's not play the moral high ground card. Uh, but also six party talks, yes, that would be a good idea. But once again, is there a new way we can kind of tweak it a little bit or make it a little more innovative? Because uh, obviously they haven't been working out as well, you know, some hurt feelings, you know, some people aren't exactly, you know, we withdrew it a few times, you know, it broke down because we felt it wasn't really going anywhere. Though it is a good idea, and I would agree to it, but there is, is there some way you guys can possibly tweak that or make it a little bit more innovative in order to make sure all feelings and respect is due to all parties involved? Which is the reason why we dropped out. So if there's some way you can make a new six-party talk, with a new set of guidelines or maybe a new like objective, yeah, we would we would we'd be down for that. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so that expires all questions for this session. Thank you so much.